like a kid at Disneyland, Vespa, volcano, gorgeous views. I'm literally on cloud nine. This is exactly my kind of day. We're Mateo and Misha. We are currently pursuing our goal of pulling off the ultimate Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. And we've started off in Sicily. Today, we embark on our most exciting Sicilian adventure yet, spending two days island hopping between the volcanic Aeolian Islands. We're spending our first day in Lipari and Volcano, where we explore the narrow streets by scooter, sample the local Malvasia sweet wine, and discover some of the most stunning viewpoints we have ever seen. We are currently at Malazzo Port, just a short train ride away from Palermo and the gateway to the Aeolian Islands, an archipelago of seven islands that is considered as one UNESCO World Heritage Site here in Italy. It is currently 8 a.m. and we had to take a walk early this morning to the train station, jump on our one-hour train, then catch a short taxi, and now we are gonna jump on a hydrofoil to head to our first island. When you Google hydrofoil, it is this long complex chain of scientific words and essentially what it is, is it's a ship with like a sled on the bottom that when it reaches a certain speed, it lifts up out of the water and that's what propels it forward. I don't know how else to explain that. So it's like a jet pack. It's like a, it's like a jet ship. right on the front of the boat. Side note, it's 8.30 and I'm already sweating. So once again, expect two-tone shirts. <laughs> So we've arrived in Lipri, the biggest, oldest, and most inhabited island. Now we're on the way to try and figure out how we can rent a scooter for a few hours. Or one of these. Woo. So we've come to the scooter rental place called Luigi's, and we just rented a scooter for the day. Signora Small. Oh, small. small. <laughs> Okay. You got a big head. No, I mean, right. Mr. Chiuso. Okay. Mateo brought too much stuff in his backpack, so now he's riding in the front. I'm really excited. This is my first time going on a Vespa. Luckily, Mateo's guided Vespa tours before in Tuscany, so I'm in good hands, hopefully. Ready? Yeah, you Are you going to strap me in? Yeah. And we drive on the right side of the road, eh? Not the left side. Oh, God. There's a... It's approximately 10.33 a.m. and this is already the best day of my life. I've never ridden a Vespa before. That was so much fun. I'm pretty sure all Mateo heard me say was, this is the best day of my life, right in his ear. So yeah, I'm feeling you pretty can't good. Get... I can't get this up. You know what, just leave it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it has been approximately two years since I rode a motorbike. I just wanted to let you know, I still got it, son. You still got it. That's so much it. fun. But yeah, now we're at a place called Spiaggia Bianca. White sand beach, from what we understand. And the staircase looks like you're going to heaven here. And just in case you haven't picked up from our other videos, Sicily in the summertime is hot. And so you shall notice that I'm sleeveless again. You have more outfit changes than me on most trips. Yeah, <laughs> true. We have arrived at the White Sand Beach and by visual inspection, 
doesn't look very white sandy. It actually looks quite the opposite. Why is this called a white sand beach? This is confusing. So the white sand beach is more just like a normal beach. So now we're off to the Pumas Cliffs. Wait, am I on another island? Or my tour guide here said they might be on another island, in which case no. we are not going to the Pumas Cliffs. It's confusing googling all five islands at the same time the day before we leave because that's true. We actually booked this yesterday. True. Because one of our friends told us we could do it without taking like a tourist group. And well, here we are on the islands, but we've only prepared for like a few hours. So this could get interesting. Did we take this whole path there? I don't know. It doesn't look familiar to me. The heat is clearly getting to us because we just walked down here and now we cannot remember if this is in fact the way we walked down. Where was that ferry and location? I can't believe there? we used to be tour guides. Did we come down here? Are you sure we didn't miss our path? No. I don't think we did. No, it did not spin down to the water. It's hot for this. <laughs> we used to be in charge of big groups of people. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, but it's easier with big groups of people because if any of you are watching we're on our tours, it's about acting confident even when you don't know what you're doing. So even though I said what we're doing, I probably didn't believe it half the time. Worked out in the end. I'm still here today. You're still alive. You had a good trip. <laughs> to be fair, when we tour guided, at least we were a lot of fun, you know? We're still a lot of fun. And when we were lost, the students didn't know we were lost, you know? You just got always got to make it an adventure. And we're back. On your left, we have the Pumas Quarry. gorgeous scenic Vespa ride through the hills, we came across this winery that we heard of. Lippery is known for its wine production, especially its sweet wine, Malvasia. So we thought this would be a perfect little stop on our drive this afternoon. So sweet. <laughs> My God. Normally sweet wines can be a lot. This, I could easily probably drink a whole bottle of this. Over here we have little biscuits called sesamini and they are the biscuit of Lipri. They pair together with the Malvasia wine. I mean, those are delicious. Jeez. That is the most unique tasting biscuit I've had in a very long time. I don't know my wines, but this tastes good together. Let's ride. second trying to find this lookout point but you did it look at that we are at possibly one of the most beautiful views we have found since being on Lipri. not gonna lie the map said it was like a straight road and well it ended up being like this but for future reference if you come here on a scooter you kind of just have to keep continuing all the way south to this observatory and then you get a view of both Volcano and I don't know what those two are, but the other two islands. 
this is my first time ever being like on slash right next to volcanoes and it's kind of insane that that is a volcano crater right there. It's one of the coolest things I've seen and this day has been a lot of firsts for me. So I kind of feel like a kid at Disneyland, Vespa, volcano, gorgeous views. I'm literally on cloud nine. This is exactly my kind of day. Now we are going to zoop back down the hill to the port because we were so busy jumping on the Vespa and driving around that we didn't get a chance to look close enough. So um, let's go see what they have. <laughs> so professional. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Pop on, love. Pop on. On our zooty little drive down the hill, we came across this beautiful lookout point. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Luigi's is awesome if you're in Lippery. For 30 bucks, you can get the scooter all day. Yeah, we definitely recommend it and the guys are really, really nice and helpful. It's currently two o'clock and we need to head off to Volcano in about an hour or two. And well, the next hydrofoil is at four, but on the app, it's not showing up. There's no tickets. However, when you come inside here, he says that it's because it's too close to the time and so we managed to get two tickets for a four o'clock hydrofoil instead of the five o'clock one. The happy cats of Lippery. Looks like a cat sanctuary. As of Monday here in Italy, a green pass is required to sit inside and so we show that and it pops up with our name saying that we've been good moral citizens. <laughs> If you thought the building behind me was one of the most popular buildings in Italy, you've guessed right. It's a cathedral. It's a very beautiful cathedral actually. And it's right next to the archaeological museum, one of the main attractions here in Lipri. However, we are in a rush to get to our ferry in about 20 minutes. And well, we don't have time to go inside. So if you've ever been inside the Lipri archaeological museum and you know what it's like, let us know down below and maybe send us some pictures on Instagram. Entry into the archaeological museum area is 10 euros and you require a green pass as of last month, so... The first thing that you'll see when you pull into the Lippery port is this castle here on top of the hill, just to your left. And this is where the archeological museum and the cathedral are within its walls. From what I understand and what I've read briefly online in our quick transition here on the island, this castle's findings date back to 4,000 BC. And I don't even know how to comprehend that far back, but they say that there's different layers for all the different like generations that have been here on this land. Is that my king waiting for me? You look disheveled. Back to my guiding days. This is the old door to the castle and it comes from the Spanish fortification in 1556. Just outside the castle, in between the port and the castle, 
is actually these cool little homes, little alleyways, well maintained, neat, green. Lots of plants. Lots of plants. When you come to the Aeolian Islands, you can either use a ferry or a hydrofoil. The hydrofoils are operated by Liberty Lines and they are literally running from every single island pretty much every hour of the day during the summertime. The times change after about September, so be sure to check that stuff out online and just make sure you can come a bit more prepared. And during the summertime, the tickets seem to sell out pretty fast, so my advice to you is to try and book your tickets in advance if you can manage to stick to your times. And after an awesome, I'd say half day, but more like a three quarter day in Lipri, we are finally about to jump onto our hydrofoil and head to Volcano, which is about a 10 minute journey. This is Volcano the closest island to mainland Italy, known for its hiking, its thermal mud baths, and its black sand beaches. The rocks you see around us are yellow because of the sulfur, and there's a strong smell of rotten egg in the air that comes from these sulfur rocks. So this place has its moments of real stinkiness. You can hire hiking boots here to climb to the top of the volcano, which I'm guessing is that one. Looks like a volcano. You're not allowed to go up unless you have parking views. We've made it to Volcano and we found another Luigi's. Funny enough, not related to the first Luigi on the other island, but we got ourselves another scooter. Woo. This one's for overnight. <laughs> Let's ride. Thank you. Woo. <laughs> Just making a quick pit stop at uh, what we are told is the only gas station in town called IP. Apparently this is the most expensive gas in all of the Aeolian Islands. So we're gonna fill it up, check into our hotel for the night, and then hit the road again and see what else is on this island. So for nine euros, we got a full tank. <laughs> Hotel Roja that we are staying at is right by the water and the sulfur baths which we were very sad to find out have been permanently closed from like 2019. We were really excited to take a bath because apparently your skin feels amazing after that but yeah it's closed so if you're coming here it's a bummer. We were right next to it too. Update. Scooter has died. Mateo is trying to jump start it. Did they turn up fuel on? Did they? Okay, I'll try to start again quick. Wait. Let's see it. Yeah, it's not starting. Okay. So from Luigi's, they came and are switching scooters with us. So we are back on the road. We have made it to Capo Grillo. It's one of the viewpoints here on Volcano Island. And it's one of the points where on a clear day, such as today, which is pretty clear, you can see all the islands lined up in a row. This is one of the most stunning lookup points I think we've ever seen. I can't believe that you can see all the islands just right there. But the sun is setting and this half of the island is in the shade, so you won't see the sunset here. So we're gonna zoot back down the hill and go to the beach where we can actually see the sunset. I never know how to buckle this thing. Can you get it? They look cute. Let's go. Going Z. 
zero. And as the end of day one is coming to a close, being on Lippery and Volcano, we realized that even though the Aeolian Islands are small like in and of themselves, so far, the two of them have had completely different vibes. Like Volcano here today, I was surprised. It felt very Spanish to me. I mean, even the, the name of the hotel we're staying at yeah. sounded very Spanish. And when we got here, everything kind of seems like a cantina. Like we were walking around and I told Mateo, I was like, ooh, I kind of want a margarita and tacos because <laughs> that's the kind of vibe that it gives. Meanwhile, Lippery felt very Italian. Um, you know, both are gorgeous, just very different vibes. And so I'm excited to see what the next three will hold. So we're in for a surprise, I guess. And earlier today, when we were on Lippery, we went all the way over there. And now we're here. This is Baia Negra, which is the black sand beach here in Volcano. And it's known for its black sand. It feels very fine under our feet. We can give you any advice as to plan this out with a few more days because this is chaotic. <laughs> we gotta run to catch the ferry. And drop off the scooter. We just returned our little scooter to Luigi's here and we have to jump on the ferry. We actually thought we were running late, but now I feel like we can take a nice yeah, walk we because we got minutes. 20 minutes. So hot and humid already, mate. It's getting a little warm. We're on the 855 ferry to Salina. Not gonna lie, I'm not terribly sad to be leaving Volcano just because the smell of rotten eggs is just, it's a bit much 24 seven but it is beautiful here. It's just, you gotta kind of hold your breath. My nose was kind of plugged this morning, which I wasn't mad about. Cause it kind of stopped the smell. So yeah. Anyway, ferry's pulling up. So we gotta go to Selena. And in our next episode, we continue our journey in the Aeolian Islands. As we sail around Selena, hit up the island of the rich and famous in Panaria, and stand at the base of one of the most active volcanoes in the world, Stromboli.